Hi everyone, welcome to another design lesson video. In each video, I'm going to review some key design principles that you should keep in mind when you're thinking about renovating or decorating your space. So if you have a design dilemma and need some answers, feel free to comment in the section below with your questions, or you can tweet me your questions on Twitter at Design Chicky. Your dilemma could become one of these design lesson videos right here. In the meantime, let's get to today's topic. Today I'm going to talk about how to choose and develop focal points in your home. The focal point of a painting is an area of emphasis that demands the most attention and to which the viewer's eye is drawn, pulling it into the painting. A focal point in interior design is an element that catches your attention as well. It's usually the most important part of a room. Where furniture is focused on that focal point, it can determine how you walk into the room around that furniture and it should really hold your attention once you're in the room. This idea of drawing you into a room is really important because it tends to be the first thing you see when you walk into a space and it becomes your first impression of the space. So you'll want it to be warm and inviting. So how do you do that? The number one rule is to walk through your home and pinpoint the spots where you need to add warmth and interest to pull you in further. Let's start at the front door. Of course, any curb appeal always centers around the front door and making it the most inviting. The door naturally draws you into the home. So making sure the color of the door, the lighting around it, the landscaping leading up to the door, all of these things together create a focal point on the exterior of your home that naturally pulls you in. What's the first thing you see once you open your front door? Is it a staircase? Maybe you can arrange a console and some artwork or a beautiful floral arrangement in that line of sight. Maybe it's just a wall. In that case, add interest and warmth again by adding furniture, artwork, and lighting. Let's move on to the living room. If the wall you see when you first walk in has a fireplace, then that's your primary focal point. Half the work is already done. Now all you need to do is make that fireplace really stand out. Furniture should be positioned so you can see the fireplace. Perhaps a bold color is the way to go. Or maybe you want the entire wall to stand strong, in which case symmetrically placed artwork and furniture on either side of the fireplace can really make the wall a statement. What if you don't have a fireplace? Or maybe the wall you first see when you walk into your living room is just a wall. Adding artwork like a gallery wall will draw you into the space. What if in this scenario the TV or fireplace, or both, is on the opposite wall? Then make that a focal point too. Yes, it's okay to have more than one focal point in a room. The important thing is to make sure they don't compete with one another, so having them on opposite walls is a really good idea. Choose one to be more dominant than the other. And in this case, the wall with the TV and or the fireplace should be most dominant because it's the one that will hold your attention when you're in the room. In many cases, the dining room table is centered in the room and it's usually very prominent in the space. But again, the important part is how you walk into the room. If you come into the room at the head of the table, the chandelier that hangs in the middle of the room is most likely the most important aspect of the room. You'll see that light fixture more than the wall beyond. So make sure it's bold and strong and it holds your attention. If you're walking into the side of the table, meaning the long side of the table, and there's a long wall opposite you when you walk in, then there's a great opportunity for something really special because you'll be able to see more wall space beyond the table than the chandelier. I love the idea of this wallpaper feature. And the chandelier here is less dramatic so you can really focus on the wallpaper. It's a great focal point in this room. When I get the chance to design a kitchen from scratch, I look at how I walk into the room and what my eyes will focus on. That's where I try to place something big and important in the kitchen. And that tends to be the range and the range hood. It's usually more decorative than the rest of the kitchen and in many cases is a different material from the rest of the kitchen cabinetry. So it's a great feature that naturally stands out. But you can also use a beautiful pantry as your focal point or a large sink in front of a striking window. Again, it's all about drawing you in. That first impression when you walk into the kitchen is your focal point. With bedrooms, I think the bed is the statement. 
So I try to place the headboard opposite the door. It really gives you the opportunity to really beef up that focal point by decorating around the bed. Selecting a special headboard, the nightstands with interesting lighting on either side, and of course with artwork above. All of this can create a beautiful focal point. But if the bed isn't the first thing you see, you need something when you first walk in. Maybe it's just a wall of family photography, or a makeup vanity, or a reading nook. Add something warm and interesting to pull you in. Focal points in bathrooms are a major plus. Everyone wants a beautiful bathroom and that statement is made the minute you walk into the bathroom and you say, wow, that's a beautiful bathroom. If you are renovating your bathroom, consider again how you walk into the room and consider what you see first. A big no-no, you don't wanna see the toilet. It's just not the most pleasing thing in the bathroom. Instead, consider a freestanding tub and creating warmth and interest in and around the tub like this. Or an amazing shower where you can focus on beautiful tile work. I love seeing the bathroom vanity with all its fittings like beautiful mirrors or wall sconces. Think about what makes the bathroom beautiful. And it's always a good idea to hide the toilet. And finally, it can't just be all about focal points. You need smaller areas that let your eye travel from one focal point to another or one room to another. When I'm working on designing or decorating a home, I walk through the floor plan and find spots that need some kind of attention, but are not important enough to be major focal points. I call these points of interest. These points add so much character and texture to a home. Think about spots at the end of a hall like this. Here, we're not even in the same room, but I can see something intriguing in the next room and it makes me want to go farther. Or maybe it's an area in a room that doesn't sit around a focal point, but needs some kind of furniture to fill it in. This is a great place for additional seating like a bench or a settee. Round it out with artwork and you've got a great little point of interest. Sometimes color can play a part in creating a focal point, but also a point of interest, like this tiny wall between the front entry and the closet color can make it special and pleasing. Maybe it's an area that sits between two open rooms. A gallery wall with a bench below is the perfect transitional point of interest. So there you have it. Focal points can draw you into a space and they are meant to hold your attention once you're in the space. They can determine the layout of the furniture around it as well and how you walk through the space. Points of interest are smaller areas that can lead you from one room to another or from one focal point to another. All of these points create warmth and interest in your home. Thanks for watching my latest design lesson video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter as well. And if you have any design questions, let me know in the comments below and it could be the topic of our next video. If you're new here, subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss our next video. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.